Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Holy frick, it's freaking hot out there today. <laughs> oh man. So I thought I'd crank up the AC in the, uh, in the trailer here and give her a good test. And uh, I need a thermometer inside here because it's freaking cold. Let me tell you, it's awesome. But anyways, we got a little package today for the trailer. I think that's what that is. Look at her in a sec here. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. But anyways, we're just looking at the uh, Princess Auto Flyer here as well. And uh, I haven't really looked through it yet. I've had her on my tractor and was going to look at it and I got sidetracked and uh, didn't get to look at her anymore. So we're going to have a little look if she'll focus for me now. So, the front page. 125 piece accessory air air accessory kit that's kind of cool i don't really like those kind of blowers though these ones eh, i'm not fussy in them i like the long handly ones with the wand kind of thing uh six inch bench mount buffer no nah. tile cutter no nah. let's flip to the next page here what do we got there rack thingy some tie down stuff these are kind of cool these clip track tie down things i don't see the track here but they basically have like this groove cut in it so you can adjust that to different places um i don't see any in that truck either so we're just on the iphone right now it's supposed to have uh image stabilization but it's a little choppy to me i think i don't know Battery isolator. Oh, sure. 21 inch or too long for what I was using. Anyways, I did a bit of work on the trailer this morning until I couldn't bear the heat no more. I've just uh, not been handling the heat too well after I had a bit of heat stroke there when I was mowing my sister's grass about um, oh, seven, five, seven years ago now, and it kind of messed me up. So whenever I'm in the real big heat, I got to really be careful because I start to feel sick real fast. So I've got to be careful at that. So I worked a bit this morning on her. And uh, got the back all skinned up. She's, she's uh, pretty much a solid unit now. We just got to work on the hosing. so And uh, she should be good. So what else we got here? Some straps. Some winches. That's kind of cool. 1,000 pound under revolt. Easy. Pulls all. So he's using it to stretch his fence there. And then you tie it on the fence pole. That's kind of cool. What do we got over here now? Some more trailer stuff. Wiring. Do, 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 do. Some tires, which I should be getting a spare for this and put it in the maybe the back corner under here. There's a this flips up or you can go through the door here. Probably slide something in there. But uh, then I don't have a jack. I don't have, you know, you're adding a lot more weight, but you know, really you should have that kind of stuff with you, that's for sure don't know if my just little cheesy jack out of my uh, truck would be able to jack this corner of this thing up to get a tire change. Pretty much in a floor jack. I mean there's jacks on the corners of each thing but they say don't use those for jacking up they're only meant for just stabilizing not for jacking her up for changing a tire. So I'm like yep yeah, okay. <laughs> see anything what is that eight or sorry 899 six piece socket adapter set huh, cool well, that's, that's all I see you know you go from from you know half inch down to quarter inch or whatever have you you know yeah this new iPhone 6 is supposed to have some kind of image stabilization but oh no I don't it's not, not, very, not very great well corrugated sheet metal cutter huh who to thunk? Oh, look, there's like an axe from like a horror movie axe. Only fifteen dollars. Only fifteen dollars. Only fifteen dollars. And you get twice the twice the slaughtering because it's got a double ender. I must say that's not too bad. Wow! Look, you can even see the little dot things. See how close I can get. Well, that's probably about it. Sweet! Oh, now we're really foggy. There we go. I wish that they had put an automatic uh, focus thing on this too, but they didn't. 
Uh, what do we got there? Big cast iron pipe wrench. Uh, I got a big one already of them. Four piece cast iron. Oh, that's a little better. Uh, there's those PEX crimpers. Man, I remember when that stuff first came out, which actually is all in this trailer, is that PEX stuff. That was like a $150 tool, not from Princess Auto, but from like the plumbing store. It was ridiculous. Tubing bender, flaring tool kit, tool carts. Ooh. Nah. Uh, Porta power hide, hand pump. Engine leveler. Hmm. I don't see anything on that page that we need. Uh, it's just cleaning stuff. Dremel drill set. That's pretty cheap for a soldering gun. Wow, we think the ends alone are like fifteen dollars. <laughs> uh, oh, welding stuff. Oh. Wire feed MIG welder. I uh, think I'm good for that, as you've seen a few times. Oh, come on. There we go. Always the center when it gives you grief. Oh, air tools. Sweet. Nailers, framers. These things are just fun to play with. Hold that little, hold this little thing up. You know, like holding it like this. B -b 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 <laughs> machine gun uh, dangerous but funny story is <laughs> one of these guns here the nailers for the roof when I worked at the rental we had rented ones like that and uh, there's two guys there one guy really didn't get along with the other guy too well so when the guy wasn't standing there if he was away on holidays or something and of course the boss wasn't there he'd pull this thing up and uh, started fire nails at the guy's toolbox, and it was like half full of nails when he come back from holidays or whatever. <laughs> oh man, that didn't happen too often because it wasn't too often the boss was away. So, oh, they got a good deal on an air compressor. Ooh, 17 CFM at 175 psi. That's actually pretty darn good. tell what kind of pumps on there but that's actually pretty good what do we got here some jigsaw blades that's what I gotta try to get is a good one of these apparently those are supposed to be super awesome step drills I've been spade I'm pretty good for drills surplus Faded fly trap. Hey, that thing just did focus on its own. Ready? Foggy. Hey! So it sort of does. It sort of does. It just sometimes takes its time. Mouse trap. PVC water transfer hose. Two person folding bench seat. Wow. Oh, what is this? Oh, I know what those are. This thing here, when you're doing great big tires, you fill this thing full of air. And that little end nozzle you put right in the bead of the tire and the uh, the rim. And then it's got a valve on her here, right in the middle, right there. So you open that up real fast, and it goes like really fast into the tire, and it's supposed to like whoosh, the sidewall out of the, on the tire and set set the bead up for you. So sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. To 2600 million power bank with carabiner. That's kind of cool. You can maybe charge a cell phone battery or something. Oh, 40 caliber metal ammo box. Oh, sweet. I already got one. <laughs> I don't need another one. I got more ammo boxes than I know what to do with. Actually, some crap in the trailer might be handy to have in an ammo box. Then you're adding more weight. Uh, wood splitters, log. What on earth is that? Log trolley. Wow, that's cool. Conditioning covers, slab setters, wow. Iron tool stand, I don't know, regular dewies. 
wheelbarrows. Seventy dollar wheelbarrow. That can't be very good. Um. Ooh, electric stuff. Fifty five volt solar backup kit. Daylight conditions even on cloudy days. Perfect for cabins, recreational vehicles. Remote power backup and power. 12 volt battery charging and more. Comes whatever you need to start producing up to 55 watts of clean, free power in all weather conditions. That's cool. And I got two on my roof there. I think I'm pulling about 100 watt right now on the roof of this thing. Something around there. There's another kit there. Whoa, that was table. Sorry. 18 watt solar for this little guy. Uh, 7 watt, even smaller. Yeah, that's pretty small. Yeah, that's cool. Water pumps. Actually, you know what? This has got a pump in it like this. Sort of, kind of like this. See, that's not focusing. There we go. Um, but that might be handy. A little 12 volt pump like that for pumping antifreeze through the system here. But all I'm going to try, I actually had this cover off last night. No, the night before last, anyways. Took that off, and inside there's your pump and everything there. And there's like one little hose comes out to nothing I think that's what they stick their antifreeze in and then open the valve and then close the two valves back here to the water here and then turn your pump on and it pumps everything up and then you turn your taps on and stuff and it opens up there so but anyways we'll get to that when we have to winterize so emergency pump kit Two inch water pump. I got a pump. I haven't even used her this year. It feels it feels awful about doing that. But anyways. Uh, that's kind of cool. Fast change hitch system. It's kind of neat. Look at the price of them. Ooh, $169.99. Nice uh, exhaust fan. Two speed. Hmm. hmm really see anything that I'm really dying to need. Some gun stuff. Hydraulic-y stuff. Always got hydraulic stuff on sale. It's good because hydraulics is so friggin' expensive. And the back page. Trailer light kit. Ooh, the cheapy clone. That's actually a really good price, wow. Hmm, that's quite a pointy shovel. That might be actually pretty handy. Looks like a real wide spade on her too, wow. Anyways, I guess that's Prince's Auto. So we got a little package here. I got another one coming actually too. It kind of stocked up a lot, but I got a bunch of these uh, 12 volt LED lights to get away from these. Oh, uh, uh, let's go open up one here. Oh, to get away from uh, these little ones that get so freaking hot so I'm gonna take one of these out one of them are out I'm gonna get one of these out sorry for the hurry for a sec there one is um oh I guess I gotta turn my switch on here don't I there we go So it's definitely going to be a different kind of light, but what I want to do is just put this cover back on here and uh, I don't know why I can get these things off easy enough, but put them on is a nightmare. There. Okay, so yes, that is quite a different color. I want to let that run for 10 minutes or so and see which one is hotter. I'm definitely betting this one's going to be hotter. All right, so after about a half an hour of running, uh, the old side is uh, pretty warm. Not melting the plastic warm, but this side is still like cold. <laughs> Got a hair a little bit of warm right there, but not like that where you can almost not even touch it. So I to switch some light bulbs here I think and um, yeah it's going to be a little bit um, I don't know I'd call that more of a maybe a natural daylight almost a, well, that's like the warm light that's like the natural daylight which I actually like that's 
what I always get when I get uh, new fluorescent bulbs and stuff is the natural daylight ones. I seem to like them better. Well, interestingly enough, these uh, lights here all run off 12 volt. They're not hooked to the 120. Um, so I guess if you're stopped, well, everything should run off the 120. You know, once you're stopped, you're not hooked. But I know these ones don't uh, run off the 110. They're all all uh, 12 volt. And the only reason I know that is. I put uh, one of these bulbs in this lamp here, a little push button here, and it just, psh, nothing, nothing come on. I'm like, uh huh? So I'm like, that's weird. Oh, I went and checked the battery, it's all good. Pulled off the panel down here and checked everything. I got power there. I'm like, what the heck? So I tested fuses. Sure enough, the one that runs these lights fried. So I put another one in, turn the switch on, nothing. <laughs> Oh, uh, here's like a little down there. I'm like, oh, that's not good. So I wonder if these things draw just a little bit more than 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 uh, um, what the other bulbs draw to just start up. Now I have these ones running off the 120, but I bet you if she switched to 12, it would probably down there again. So, ah, oh, that's not maybe so good. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. That's uh, really disappointing. You wouldn't think it would take that much, but I guess the first initial on is like maybe it's like a. Well, actually, you know what? I, I did something kind of kind of foolish, and I put a, a 25 amp in there <laughs> just to try it. And same thing, it just went and like the fuse popped. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? So I don't know. Maybe these were rated apparently for 12 volts and um oops sorry maybe maybe they're not so i don't i don't really know what's going on there and i tried a couple of bulbs too and they both pssst. so i went through like four fuses and didn't get anywhere <laughs> so that's maybe not too good but i did order some more too some more with not so many of these little guys on it so maybe maybe that'd be better but i don't know they, they say they're 12 volt but uh, i don't know she she popped a 15 and a 20 amp breaker so i'm not too happy with that so anyhow, I guess that's it for today. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with that. Uh, I don't know why they'll be popping, but I'm thinking it's maybe drawn too much right off the right off the hop, and it just fries it, you know. So well, it's not good because I do really want to change to these things, but uh, because they definitely use a lot less power. Not even warm up here, you know, nothing. So, But um, usually they see where there's a lot of heat, they're just drawing a lot of power, which makes sense. So, uh, But anyways... Uh, I guess that's about it for today. Uh, I don't think there's anything else happening. I'm going inside, I guess, gotta do a bit of editing here. And um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll catch you maybe tomorrow. I don't know, it's supposed to be wicked hot again, so I might be uh, laying kinda low. I do have a cremation funeral to do tomorrow though, so. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll talk to you when we talk to you. And basically what I gotta do next on the um, trailer is uh, run some hoses and figure out how I'm gonna route the hose up the back and then into the into the uh, into the trailer there should be should be kind of fun I might have to make up some kind of adapter fitter fit to the hose to the track to the trailer and go from there might need a bit of a, a holding mast thing too or something I don't really know yet um, I'm just thinking the hose going up is gonna get pretty heavy and then it's gonna have to turn into the trailer it might want to keep flopping off all the time so we'll have to maybe figure out something to help hold um i don't know but anyways have a good night thanks for watching and we'll catch you later